everyone, so this is going to be my what's in my changing bag video. I know you've all been waiting for this for ages, but I wanted to find a good changing bag. Since having my first baby Sienna, I've been through so many changing bags because I feel like I just can't find one that is big enough to put everything in but it's not too big that I fill it with crap and then can't actually lift it because it's so heavy but also one that's not too small that I'm cramming things in things are falling out and I can't close it and also someone someone and also something that is kind of wipe proof but still looks pretty and isn't really really ugly so I think I have finally found it this is my new changing bag. I've had it for a few weeks. I've been trying it out to see exactly how I like it, see how it kind of wears and see kind of how things fit in it, if that makes sense. Um, cause sometimes when you get a new changing bag, you think, oh yeah, it's great. I love it. But then after a few weeks of using it, you're like, actually, it could do with this. It could do with that. could do with that. Um, this one, actually, I don't have many pointers on. I really, really honestly love it. And I, there's not anything that I don't like about it, I don't think. So this is my changing bag. I have shown it in a vlog before. It is the uh, Baby Mel Bella bag in the floral print. So it's really autumnal. I'll give you a close up. It's like the black and white flower print with the hints of mustard and then it has the tan kind of edging and handles and straps. I just absolutely love it. So as you can see it is quite big but I really like that it has so many big pockets on it because it means I can have a little section for everything which I love because that's how I find my changing bag stay organised is to have compartments for everything that are big enough to fit everything in so yeah it's quite big but it's like the perfect size it's not overly big my previous black one I had was absolutely enormous and I used to just put so much in that I could barely lift it um, so this one is like standard changing bag size I'd say it's got really good straps these straps are quite big they fit over my shoulder and they're quite sturdy so it kind of stays put but you do also have where is it <laughs> You do also have the long strap as well, so you can kind of put it across you if you need to. Um, that's adjustable. And that one does come off with the little um, like clips here either side. So, yeah, good straps. And then I'll give you an overview of the pockets. So, on the front, it has these two big pockets here. And then it also has side pockets each side. And then it also has a zip uh -huh. at the top, which is where the big, obviously, compartment is. But then inside you have more pockets again, which I love. What you have inside is the little zip at the back. And then you have these two kind of elasticated pockets on one side. And then the rest is just a big compartment. Now I've kind of shown you the structure of the bag, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what is in each pocket. So on the front pockets, one of them is for Sienna and one of them is for me. Now Sienna is four so I don't take a lot of stuff for her, it kind of depends how long we're going for. But in her pocket actually all I have at the moment and what stays in there kind of consistently is a few kind of games or toys. Basically, I have these Tots trivia cards, and her auntie actually got these for her for either her birthday or Christmas last year. They're age three plus, and they're just little cards, and it's basically trivia cards, so it has questions on, like, what would you usually find at the top of a Christmas tree? What makes a cobweb? Which fairy tale princess pricked her finger on a spindle and slept for a hundred years? The ladybirds have stripes or spots so there's all kind of like kid trivia and the reason I keep these in here is if we get stuck and we're waiting for longer than expected Sienna gets bored and then she tends to melt down um, these are something really good that we can do there's quite a few there so you know if we're waiting in the doctors for 20 minutes if we get stuck in traffic obviously when we're in Warren's car um, and I'm not driving you know wherever we are it's kind of like a quiet simple thing we can do to kind of pass the time so I always keep those in there I've just tied an elastic band around them to kind of keep them all together and then the other thing and this actually 
is like a little ice cream game. I don't know if you remember these, it's quite retro. You press the button and the hoops jump up and you have to get the hoops onto the kind of spikes like a water game. She got this free with the Peppa Pig magazine and I just thought that's going in my handbag again for when we're waiting. It's a good quiet game she can do as like a distraction. Also again if we're in restaurants and we're waiting you know for food to come out we've got like little games and stuff we can do. And then if we do go out, if we're going out for like a whole day, I may add in there a little sippy cup of drink for her or grab a fruit shoot and add in there. Um, and I might also add in like a spare t-shirt or dress depending on what she's wearing that day, just in case we go out, you know, and we have lunch or we have ice cream or something. She's still such a messy eater. So I do take like just a change of top for her because that's all she really needs. So yeah, that's kind of her pocket. Then the other pocket on the front is my pocket. It's where I keep my phone, my camera, my keys. And I have this little zippy bag here. And in here I've just got a cable to charge my camera. Um, I haven't got a mains point. I normally do it in my car or find someone else. You know, I'm generally at someone's house and they normally have kind of an adapter or something that I could borrow. And then I just have like a little pod charger for my phone and the cable for that. In the pockets on the side, this is where I keep Aria's bottles and her sippy cup. So normally these would have lids on. I've just kind of done this for show because we're not going out today. Um, but obviously if I was going out, I'd find the lids and put them on. So she's still on seven ounces. So I just take the cool boiled water in there. Um, so there's one each side because that will generally she'll go six to eight hours with two bottles she goes three to four hours between bottles and we're not normally out for much longer than that so um, I generally don't need more than two and I put them in the side pocket so that they're upright and they can't spill because with other changing bags they used to spill and then it makes the bottom all mouldy and manky and everything gets wet um, so I just find that really helpful with this bag having these end pockets and they're also so big that I can fit her sippy cup in there as well. So again, that's just got cool boiled water in there. So that fits in there. And then her bottle fits on the top. And then in the other side, I've just got one bottle in there, so you can't see it. But they're such big pockets. Okay, so now onto the main compartment. In the zip at the back, I just have lady things. Um, what else is in there? Oh, a couple plasters in case Sienna hurts herself. So that's all that's in that zip pocket. And then these two elastic pockets here. This one is nappy supplies. So I've got nappies, water wipes, there's a few uh, nappy sacks in the bottom and then I've just got some um, nappy cream as well. And then in this one I've just got her dispenser pot. So these are really handy if babies are on formula. Like I said, two bottles will do her six to eight hours and we're generally not out for any longer than that. So I don't need to take a whole tin of powder. Um, so this just has like the three little compartments. I put seven scoops in each one. So when she needs a bottle, you just open that and pull that whole section into her bottle and shake it up and the bottle's done. So I generally take that. I just put it in the little pocket in case it spills. I've never actually had one of these spills. They're they're pretty safe, they're really, really good. Um, but I just keep it in the pocket, just in case it does, it kind of contains the mess a little bit. Okay, now I'll go through kind of the main section of the bag. So everything that's in here, it kind of looks unorganised, but it is, you'll see. So on the top I just keep a muslin cloth. Ari is quite a sicky baby, so a muslin cloth is kind of I must have in my changing bag still. With Sienna I kind of stopped using them when she was around this age. Um, but Aria still tends to be a way more sick. I also keep some toys. Freddy the Firefly I try to keep in here because it's just a good all rounder toy. It can stick to the table if we're out for lunch or coffee. Um, if she's teething she can use it as a teether toy. She loves to bite on these and also the wings. Um, and it's just a good sensory toy as well. Again, if we're waiting in the doctors or waiting in traffic or something, it's kind of got lots of things for her to explore to keep her busy. So yeah, it's a really good all rounder. So I always take that one. Do also take a book as well. She's really into the kind of sensory things at the moment. This is one of those, that's not my 
whatever book. Um, this is the fairy version. This is Sienna's. We've had this for ages. Um, but it's got like fluffy wings. <laughs> but it's got like fluffy wings. Um, and then it's got like bumpy shoes. So again, it's just got different textures in there. And it's just kind of a little book we can read again if we're waiting. And then the rest of the stuff that's in here, I actually separate into bags. So this is just a little zip kind of clear bag. I actually use this for holiday when you have to put your little liquids in your clear bag. I think it's from Boots. It came with the travel things in it. But in here I just have tissues, a hand gel, some lip balm. I've got some Ambersol, Cowpole sachets and some teething granules as well. And I really like how it's in a clear bag you can see what you've got and it's really easy to find as well rather than shoving it all in a pocket and kind of feeling around just grab the bag out and I can easily see what I'm trying to get which is really handy the next one I just use these Ziploc bags for change of clothes there's only a jumper in here actually because we used our change of clothes yesterday normally I would take a whole outfit so a vest, leggings, jumper possibly two vests, it depends how long we're going out for, and then a couple pairs of socks just in case, because like I said, she is a sicky baby, she can projectile vomit randomly, um, and we have to change her whole outfit, um, and also for poo explosions, things like that. So I normally have a lot more in here, but yeah, change of clothes, and I love keeping it in a Ziploc bag as well, because if something does spill, it's not going to get wet. I've had it before where I've been all organised, I've had all her bottles, I've had all her change of clothes, and then a bottle was leaked all over the change of clothes, so then I needed the change of clothes, and they were all soaking wet, so I ended up, you know, not having any spare clothes for her, which was annoying because I was trying to be organised, and the spilt bottle ruined it. So, yeah, in a Ziploc bag, it's all protected. And then you can also use the Ziploc bag to put the dirty clothes back in, which is good. And then the last thing that's in here is just another Ziploc bag. This is full of snacks and for if we're out longer than expected, I've got some food for them to have if it's kind of around a meal time. So these are kind of for Sienna and Aria to share. Generally, I can get Sienna something at a shop, but you know, if we're stuck in traffic and she's moaning she's hungry, I can pull something out of here for her. So I've just got rice cakes, crisps got some organics biscuits and then just a little oat and raisin bar so nothing exciting but you know if they're really hungry it will do okay and then last but not least in the section at the back with the popper all I have in here is just my purse it fits really nicely in there the popper still closes and I just like having my purse in the back rather than in the front pocket so it's not so accessible to people but it's still easy for me to grab when we're in the shop and I'm trying to pay for something. I don't have to dig around my whole bag like feeling for my purse. I know exactly where it is and it's the only thing in that pocket so... So that is everything that's in my changing bag. I feel like it's really organised. I feel like there's a space for everything. Compartments are big enough. And yeah, I've been really loving this bag. It's also absolutely gorgeous. And I love the colours. It goes with most of my outfits because I wear a lot of kind of tan and black. And I do love a bit of mustard as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video for what's in my changing bag with a eight month old, nearly nine month old and a four year old. Let me know if there's anything you have in your changing bags that you think I could do with that's like a essential for you. And don't forget to like, subscribe and also share with your friends if you think this might be helpful for mummies that have children the same age as mine. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!